Hi guys, today we're going to talk about a la mode. For those who don't know, a la mode was a Sanrio magazine made by Sanrio for American audiences. You can basically see it as the American version of Strawberry News. Unlike Strawberry News, however, this magazine was released quarterly instead of monthly. So instead of a new issue coming out every month, a new issue came out every three months. Also, unlike other magazines like Nintendo Power, you don't pay a subscription to it. Instead, these magazines were available at certain stores, specifically Sanrio stores. However, I'm not just going to talk about this magazine, I'm actually going to show it. That's right, I actually own a copy of A La Mode. Let me show you. And here it is, my copy of A La Mode. If you want to know why I got the winter issue, well, I tried to find the spring issue, but they didn't have it. Like, trust me, it was very hard to find. As you can see from the price tag here, this originally went for $1.25. Adjusted for inflation, that's around $2.65. However, I didn't pay $2.65 for this. No, no, no. I paid almost $93. Yeah, that gives you an idea of how rare this is. Here are the first two pages of A La Mode. On the left, you would see a letter made by Hello Kitty herself, which is honestly kind of cute. And on the left, you would basically see where the pages are, and a paragraph of why Sanrio made this magazine in the first place. Also, a little bit below, you would see a contest. If you want to know, the prize for the contest is a $50 gift certificate. That's basically nothing. <laughs> Now, when we turn to the next couple pages, we would find this postcard. Basically, this is for a thing called Sanrio Pen Pals. Basically, you would write stuff about you on this postcard, and you would send it to Sanrio, and Sanrio would pair you up with someone else, which is kind of cool. Also, if you want to know how you would fill out that information, well, here you go. Now, on the pages themselves, it's basically a bunch of fans writing letters to Sanrio. For example, this person asked whether or not there would be a subscription to A La Mode magazine, and they basically responded that there are no plans to do a subscription to A La Mode magazine, but if enough people request it, they would do it. The next question that was asked was, is there a Sanrio catalog? And she wanted to know how the company was doing. And they basically said that there is no catalog available. And apparently they also make 150 new items every month. Wonder if that number is still true. And here we have two letters. One basically saying how they got a Sanrio gift certificate. And the other is a Sanrio poem. As we can see here, the next two pages have nothing to do with Sanrio. One is recommending books and the other is talking about trends. Actually, let's look at the trends section for a little bit. <clears throat> Tradition has become a trend. Basic family values are hot. We are hiding to our past. Back in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if this magazine kept releasing even in the current day. Imagine what they would put in the trends section. And here we can see a recipe for chocolate truffles. And the next two pages once again have nothing to do with Sanrio. These next two pages are basically Lila and Kiki um, crafts. <laughs> it's basically arts and crafts. Next you have a letter made by Sax Zassl Zassl by this big. And in this page, you just literally just fill up the missing words. Spotty Dotty, of all people, has her own section about fashion. I'm honestly quite surprised here. And we have basically a couple matching game basically on this page, and a Hello Kitty ornament on this page. We also have a Hello Kitty comic, and a postcard to send to tell Sanrio what you think of this magazine. This part of the magazine, however, I found interesting. <laughs> basically, this is on the What's Next issue. They're, this is basically stuff they're going to talk about in the spring issue. And here it says this. Meet Kiro Kiro Kurobi. Sanrio's springest new character. Learn secrets about him that no one has ever known before. Was this Kurobi's very first American introduction? Here are basically a few images of fan art and the different 
Sanrio boutiques as they call them. And the final page is basically just an ad for Sanrio merchandise. Finally, we have this. This is a poster that came with the magazine. Basically, it's a zodiac wheel. And to be completely honest, I really don't get zodiac signs. No, no, seriously. People in the comments, please tell me why do people use zodiac signs? It also has a bunch of predictions on here that are clearly outdated. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys found this video interesting. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.